Hello friends, welcome back to another video of GoTrady. In this video, we're gonna learn what is the Docker Compose file of FreckTrad. We will learn the various parameters, various configuration parameters in the file, and then it will be very easier for us to follow the FreckTrad course. Okay. So let's open the file first, the Docker Compose file. So here you can see we have downloaded the docker compose.yml file previously in the previous video with the command you will be able to find the article and the commands in the video description okay so when we open the docker compose.yml file you can see that it has various options first is the version the services okay then we have the restart parameter the container name the volumes the ports and the commands here okay so what i did i copied all these configuration parameter in the article so it will be easier for us to follow that so let's open the article you will find the article link in the description below so it will be easier for you to just copy and paste the files in your terminal okay so so first this is the content of the docker compose file okay so let's learn one by one what is it exactly the first is the image so in the image it will show so we mentioned the stable so we can mention here the various other versions also so the first is the frag trade and the image so which image we want to download from the docker hub okay so in this image we mentioned that we want to download the stable image so what does it mean exactly let me show you so we just go to the docker hub and when we search the frag thread here okay i open this first one so here we click on the tags so here you can see that it has the different different tags here so the first is the latest so when we don't mention anything so it will download the default latest image okay we can even mention the frac ai torch frac ai rl frac ai plot develop pi stable frac ai stable this one stable frac ai so these are the various various tags here so in our file we mentioned the stable here but you can download as per your needs here you can mention that tag and it will be downloaded okay so the image is that then restart so in restart it defines the restart policy for the container so unless we stop the container it will always restart okay then the container name as we progress we will be running multiple containers so it will be easier for us to differentiate between the different different containers so we assign a container name here then the volume so what it does it mounts the slash user data directory like here if you can see that we have the directory user data here so it's a local directory but when we mention the volumes user data so it will assign this user data directory into the frag trade user data within the container so when we open the container you can see that this directory is mounted here okay so it is for the persistent storage because what happens when we close the container all the changes you have made in the configuration files all the logs all the data you have downloaded it will be gone so in order to make them persistent we have to mount the files so then next is ports so on which port you want to expose your fractured web ui so we can mention 8080 we can mention 9090 and whatever the port you want to mention here you can do that and the next comes the command so in command what happens you can mention the log file path here you can mention the db url you can mention the config you can mention the strategy so what happens when we have multiple bots so we can mention the different path for different containers different path for the log log file you can have a different db url so you can mention the url for the db so what happens so when we have multiple containers we can mention different configuration file for different containers so we can test different kind of strategies there and then a strategy so in strategy we have multiple strategies so we can assign each strategy to each container to test our configuration and the strategy so, so these are the basic understanding if you have any question you can comment down we will be happy to help you okay so so now we run a few examples so let's open the terminal okay so now first we check the docker ps so currently we can see that one process is running so we just close that command docker compose down and now when we check the process there is no container running okay so let's start the container first docker compose up so when we run this command the container will be started but what's the issue in that it will capture the terminal 
okay so we'll be not be able to perform any other commands on this terminal so in order to resolve this issue what we can do okay as soon as we close that the container will also be closed so it becomes a issue right so in order to run this container in the background what we can do we can just simply run the command docker compose up in the detached mode so it will run the container in the background and now when we check that it is running fine okay and again when we want to monitor the logs we can run the command docker compose logs hyphen f what is hyphen f so this hyphen f it will show you the live logs okay so if you run without that so it will just show you the last logs okay and it will finish but when you add hyphen f it will show you the live logs what is happening in the container so in order to like monitor the logs live you can run this in one terminal and you can do your work in the other terminal in that order you will be able to monitor the live logs okay and then now how do we interact with the fret trade container when we see that one container is running here but you want to perform some actions some activity in the container itself so how do we do that so what we can do we can run this command so in this command we will get a bash terminal of that container so let's run that command and now we are in that container so when we check we are in the container and we can check the host name host name will be the container id so like now we are running the commands inside the container and as i told you earlier that it mounts the frag thread the user data directory into the container so it is mounted here right and you can even check the fs tab here also but vi command doesn't work here so you have to download nano is also not doesn't work here so you can check with the cat so here the fs tab is unconfigured here so like you can check uh, you can perform the actions here as per your requirement so now we just exit from the container and now we are in the os and when we check the docker ps and now just stop this docker compose down and when we check docker ps it is not running okay so this was the basic tutorial for the docker compose file if you have any question just uh, comment down and you can connect with us on all the social medias so we'll catch up in the next video of the uh, docker configuration file config.json it's very important so uh, you can have a very good understanding of how to configure the uh, fractured for your trading okay so let's meet in the next video until then bye bye take care have a nice day